Today, we will be multiplying a whole number by a fraction using this problem. Charlotte has to make six pies for Thanksgiving dinner. Each pie requires one third cup of sliced apples. How many cups of sliced apples does Charlotte need? First, we will build the concrete model using these fraction tiles. As you can see, I already have drawn my six pies. I broke them into thirds to split it up equally. I am now going to shade one third of each pie to represent the third of a cup of sliced apples that we need. As you can see, we now have six third cups of apple slices. However, if we take one third of the apple slices from each pie, we will be able to see how many total cups we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apple pie, this portion of apple slices, and move it all the way over to this one. This now becomes shaded, and this will get taken away. Then, going to take this portion of the apple slices and move it over to this pie. And now this becomes shaded because it is now filled with the third of a cup of apple slices. As you can see now, I have one whole pie of apple slices, which would represent one cup. So these two pies are now taken care of. Now I'm going to take this portion of apples and move it over to this pie. Like I did before, again, you can see that now this becomes two thirds of the pie and this apple pie has now been taken care of. Lastly, I'm going to move this portion of apple slices over to this pie so that it completes our pie. And we now have a total of two pies filled with apples, which represents two cups. So we had one third times six equals two. Next, I'm going to show you using pictorial models where I will be drawing them out. Now, bear with me on my drawings here. I'm going to start out by drawing all six pies and then I will break them into three equal parts. So here are my six pies and now I'm going to break them down equally. So like I showed you while using pictorial models, I have my six pie broken into three equal parts. I'm going to shade one third of each pie. As you can see, now I have one third of every pie shaded. I am going to now do what I did earlier and fill in this part of this pie. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this one third and move it over here to complete one 
total pi. Now I don't have to worry about this, and now I don't have to worry about this. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take this portion of this pi, move it over to this pi, and I'm going to do the same thing with this pi slice over here. So now that leaves me with two total pies, which would represent the two cups of sliced apples that we need. Now I'm going to show you the abstract model of this problem. When you do any type of multiplication, it is basically repeated addition. So here I'm going to draw my one third six different times to represent the thirds of each of the six pies I used. So here I have one third of a whole pie. Which, so what you're going to do is you're going to add up all the numerators and see what you get. In this case, we get six, and we should already know that because we're, we have a total of six different pies. Now for the denominators, because they are all the same denominator, you keep it the same. So it would be six thirds. Now, now from looking at my total answer over here, I know that three goes into six two different times. So six thirds is equal to two. Does that represent our cups? It absolutely does. So you have two cups here. Two cups, just like we ended up with over here. We had our two whole pies. So, how many cups of sliced apples did Charlotte need? Charlotte needed two cups.